Hello, everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck. I am your host. And before I forget, if you're all new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, hit that like button as well. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank you all in advance. But what do we have on tap today? Well, we are going to be tasting and reviewing another beer from New Belgian Brewing. And of course, they are located in Fort Collins, Colorado. So the beer we're going to be tasting this is their Sour IPA. So it's part sour and it's part IPA. So hey, it's a sour IPA. But this beer clocks in at 7% ABV and it is made with Citra and Amarillo hops during fermentation. Now what's interesting about this beer is that, you know, they start, you know, New Belgium, they start with their base IPA recipe and then about halfway, you know, during the fermentation process, they blend 25% of their Fodor wood-aged sour beer in with that. So that's kind of neat. So we got kind of like the sour IPA blend going on here, you know? So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. And uh, yeah, let's hit the fun started. Here we go. Boom, boom. One, two. Zero smoke out of the can on this one. Zero smoke. But let's get a nice little pour here. And let's see what we got. Here we go. The Sour IPA Blend. Hmm. Well, it almost, uh, you know, it's funny. It's got it's got a, a different, um, it's, it's a lighter yellowish gold, which is interesting, but it almost looks like a hazy, which is kind of cool. And we have a pure white head of foam here, uh, just under half a finger, but veil of pure white. But yeah, it does look like a hazy beer so far. But let's give this a swirl and let's give this a nose and see what we got here. Hmm, I wonder how sour this one's going to be. Here we go. Oh, well, so far the aroma is not that sour. Not that sour at all. But I am getting some slight lemon, some slight lemon peel. There's definitely some, uh, some grassy notes coming through and some doughy notes coming through. But I got to oh, admit, overall, it's not that sour. Well, it, it, it's, it's, it's not an overall you know, big sour nose. So let's give this another swirl and let's give this a little sippity sip and uh, let's see how sour it is on the palate. Here we go. Prost. Yeah, it's once again. Wow. Hmm. I mean, this is a light body beer and this surprisingly is really, really easy drinking for a sour. Now, I like sour beers. I can maybe have one or two of them. That's my limit when it comes to sour. But this is, I mean, overall, this is not that sour. Maybe they should have labeled this the half sour IPA. But let me get another sip here. I mean, we're getting some of that lemon. We're getting some lemongrass. Little bit of... There are some, maybe a little bit of other citrus notes. Uh, and there's definitely some lemon peel as well. And maybe some slight orange peel, but it's predominantly that lemon grass is coming through. Uh, but once again, I have to stress this. And I mean, it's just really not that sour, which is okay. I mean, some people, they see sour and they run for the hills. But I mean, this is one I'd say, hey, you know what? Give this a try because this is, this. you might actually enjoy this one. Let me give this another sip here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. I mean, is it perfect? No, I think the balance is a little off. Um, the aromas and the flavors are a little lacking, um, but it's not like the sour is overpowering anything. It's just what, you know, the lemon and the lemongrass on the flavor and, you know, the doughy notes, it's just kind of thin in my opinion. But it's not there. It's not that they're being pushed out by the sour because it's. I said it's not. That's. I like. I like, kind of like that when I said this is the half sour IPA. But on the pint meter, I'm going to give this one. I'm going to give this one a straight up seven, because yeah, I'm going to give this a seven. I, I I think it's a great direction, and it, I think this would be a great starter beer for people who do not like sours. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with the seven on that. Sure, why not? And I'm going to give it another sip, too. Sure, why not? Boom, boom. But on that token, 
I'm going to wrap this one up, and I want to thank everyone for tuning in to this, to this episode. Yeah. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubshaveapointing.com, or at the blog, which is www.pubshaveapointing.blogspot.com. And on that note, we will see you on the next episode. Probably won't be a sour, though. Maybe, but I doubt it. But anyways, we will see you next time. And as always, raise a pint. Cheers, prost, and enjoy.